double murder trial continues in Sheboygan County. Road closure announced for the city of Sheboygan, Scroggins Jewelers to close after owner's death. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, October 24th, 2019. A double murder trial continues this week in Sheboygan County. Sergio Oka of Oostburg is charged with killing two men back in 2017. Jury selection began a couple of weeks back in the trial that could last up to another week. Oka is facing charges of two counts of first-degree intentional homicide for the shooting deaths of Luis Garcia and Fernando Lopez. Back in July of 2017, Oka allegedly shot both men after an argument over money. Oka could spend the rest of his life in prison if he is found guilty. City officials in Sheboygan are announcing a road closure that will be in effect for about a week. Broughton Drive from Michigan Avenue to North Point Drive will be closed from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. for tree and shrub removal. The road closure will be in effect each weekday through Friday, November 1st, and officials say it is due to an invasive tree and shrub removal on the bluff along Broughton. North 3rd Street will be open as an alternative route. It is flu season and people are being urged to get vaccinated. At the same time, the need for all type blood types remain at the Red Cross. First, if you have flu or display symptoms like fever, you should wait until you have recovered fully before attempting to donate. But even if you have just received the shot, you are eligible to donate. There is no waiting period there. The Red Cross will hold a blood drive at our Lady of the Lakes in Random Lake from 1 until 6 tomorrow and the 24th at Elkhart Lake High School in Tuesday the 29th from 11 until 4. You can find a location near you at redcrossblood.org. If you are a landlord, there is plenty that you need to know about how to be a good proactive property manager. Laws are in place to protect both sides of a rental agreement, but the details are complex. To address these issues, the city of Sheboygan is offering a landlord training program the evening of Thursday, November 7th at City Hall. The program will cover prevention and application screening, drug nuisance, ab abatement, and code appliance, what to do when illegal activity is discovered, and more. An RSVP for the program, which costs $10, is due by November 1st. A Portage County jury has found Jason Seifer guilty of killing his wife, Krista, in 2017. Jurors debated for less than two hours Wednesday after closing arguments concluded in the case. Seifer now faces a mandatory life prison sentence with only the possibility of parole. The seven-day trial features several witnesses on both sides and included at least one twist when it was revealed that Krista's father had a conversation with Cypher about his daughter and was caught on tape saying, we'll just worry about it, about you getting out and getting you home. He also reportedly called Krista a chronic liar. Krista's ex-boyfriend, who she reportedly was dating while still married to Jason, testified that she once told him, if you ever go missing, you better investigate him because I'm either going to be in a swamp or buried on a pipeline somewhere. Court documents released in 2018 after Jason was arrested painted a picture of a rocky marriage with both individuals accused of infidelity and their children reporting that they would often argue. Krista's body has not been found, but several of her other personal belongings, such as jewelry and iPhone, were dumped in dumpsters around the Plover area. GPS from Jason's car put him near those dumpsters at around the time when the items were found. 
He was also spotted on camera buying a box of large trash bags with cash that day she disappeared. Canine officers also detected human remains throughout the Cypher home. The trial was originally scheduled to run through Friday. And finally, Scroggins Jewelers in downtown Sheboygan will be closing soon after the recent death of its owner, 68-year-old Richard Scroggins, died after a six-year battle with cancer. The shop has been one jewelry store or another since the 1800s and became Scroggins Jewelers in 1999. Scroggins, who worked as a jeweler for 44 years, gave annual donations to charities, bought local pr products, and supported his community however he could. He was also a longtime member of the Business Im Improvement District, and last week the shop set up signs for a going out of business sale. In the meantime, the store will operate with standard business hours while supplies last. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.